Hi there, Orchard. You know, it's really easy to judge other people, isn't it? And it's a tempting thing to do when someone says or does something we disagree with or we don't like, when they blow it and make a mistake, or when they do something that's just really wrong. And people judge others all the time. It seems like everybody's doing it these days and for so many different reasons. And so often, you know, we feel really justified in judging others. We think of ourselves as upright people who believe what's right and who do what's good. And we're so sure that we know other people's motivations, that we know all the thoughts of their hearts and minds, that why they did what they did. And so we judge others and think of them as less than us. And often even think of them as just bad people. But are we really justified? You know, there's a story in the Bible about a woman who was caught in the very act of adultery. And back in that time and place, adultery was not only against the law, it was punishable by death, by stoning. But Jesus was there that day, and so the crowd asked Jesus what they thought, what, what he thought they should do. And Jesus said this in John 8, 7, he said, Let any one of you who is out without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And then slowly the people began to leave the oldest ones first and then the rest of them. Why? Because Jesus had reminded them that they weren't justified to judge this woman because they were sinners too, every one of them and every one of us. You know, we also aren't really qualified to judge others. The truth is that we're not always right in our opinions and assessments of things in this life. And we can never really know what's going on in another person's heart. We can never know all of the things that have happened, all of the reasons that may have led someone to do something or to not do something. The truth is that only God is justified to judge because only God is without sin and only God is qualified to judge because only God actually knows what is right all of the time and because only God knows what's in our hearts. And the thing is that even though God is the judge, he's always got mercy and grace for us. Something that we so often don't have for the people that we pass judgment on. When we judge others, we're playing God and we're bad at it. And it's something that's really displeasing to God. So I have a challenge for us. The next time that you're tempted to pass judgment on someone, instead, I want to call you to try and um, think the very best of them. To kind of imagine why they've done what they've done and to cast it in the very best, most sympathetic light that you possibly can. Now, this doesn't mean that you're suddenly going to agree with them or condone what they've done, but what this can do is often soften our hearts towards others. Hearts that can become really hard sometimes. And then after we've done that, I want to call us to seek to have mercy and grace on other people. That's what God has done for us. And that's what God calls us to do for others.